welcome back to the channel. My name is Dina Gohill. For those of you that don't know me, I'm also known as the Foot Scraper on YouTube. But today's exciting news is the book is finally launched. Okay, I should really not take up singing as my part-time job, but very happy to report that the book is now available on Amazon. Okay, so the link is down below and you can see it here as well. Very excited to share the book. It's called A Girl and the Fly. Okay, so this story is a true story. It actually happened to me um, early 2022. And at the time I just had like kind of had COVID and I was isolating and feeling awful. And I kind of came out of that and went downstairs and then the story took place. Now I'm not gonna give too much away now so you can actually read the story and understand what happens. But essentially, it's to do with a remarkable journey of a small little fly and the hot sticky trimester that happened and how a life was saved. So if that's not interesting enough, I don't know what is because it's just one of those fun stories that you can read and it's suitable for almost all ages. And you can read it again and again and again and it's not going to take you too much time, which is amazing because you know, in this day and age, we don't have time to sit down and read it most of the time. So if we do, and we're very blessed to have that opportunity, then it's got beautiful pages. We can really just enjoy the illustrations and everything that the book has to offer. Now, as well as the story being incredible, let me tell you a little bit more about the actual characters. So you may have guessed that there is a girl, and the girl does not have a name. Why? Because I want the reader and I want the child to actually sit there and give her a name. You choose what you want the character to be called. And I think that's really special. There's elements of cultural, there's elements of different aspects of the countries that I've lived in. So UK, India, Africa, and I've kind of merged it into one, which is quite special. Now the character, the way she looks, yes, she looks a little bit like me, but I also took the inspiration of my little sister. So when she was younger, she looked exactly like this and she had the same pajamas and I just wanted to bring that for everyone else to see and also that meant it was a special place for me when I look at the character, I think of my baby sister. The second character, which you're probably well aware of now as well, is the fly. And why does the fly look this cute? I'm actually gonna show you how cute this fly looks, okay? So let me just pull up one page. So you already know, okay? Can you see this cute little chair? There we go. So, this is the fly. How adorable is this fly, okay? Now, I know when we think about flies, we think of these horrid things all like flying around and getting to our food and, and so forth, and no one actually pays attention to them. And I just wanted people to appreciate that even though these flies can be a nuisance, they actually have a beautiful space in our ecosystem and they make everything work in a certain fashion and without even the smallest of insects we wouldn't have the world as we know today. So I wanted people to be able to resonate and really appreciate this fly and feel for it rather than just think of it as a, a small little bug that they just want to squish. So that's why I wanted to make the fly very cute, very approachable and adorable. And actually I did draw that out myself so I sat there and I was sketching away at the desk and I came across like this little blueberry that I was eating and I thought huh, maybe I should make him look a bit like a blueberry. So if you're looking at the fly and you're thinking, he looks a bit like a squidgy little cherub, he probably does because it's it's literally is based off of a blueberry. <laughs> and then I put him, put him together. The third character in the book is the mother. So the mother is based off um, a traditional Indian mother. She's wearing the sari, she's wearing the traditional colors, very homely, embodies a lot of warmth, wants to feed you all the time. That's definitely what my mom's like. <laughs> so I took elements of my mom and what we normally resonate and what we put together when you think of a mom and I made the character um, as you will see. I'm not gonna give too much away now until you see it yourself. So those are the three key characters in the book. And then the rest of it, it's not really a character, 
but it's a tea. So those of you that really enjoy drinking chai or tea, the recipe is at the back of the book. Now the recipe is a secret recipe that was my mom's. Not so secret anymore. Sorry mom, but I did get permission and she was more than happy to share with you guys all. There's coloring pages at the back. It's like several so you can sit there and you can color away. We've also got a few activities where you can talk about what you like in the book and also a little page where you can travel with it. So when you travel with the book and you see a certain fly in different countries, you as a child can sit there and you can write in the book where you've seen certain ones, just making it a little bit more fun and exciting for you to read. So I'm very excited that it's coming out now. I wanted to share with you guys something special. And that something special is what I aim to do with the book. So this book is actually a little bit of a philanthropy project for me. So the proceeds, the profits, anything I get for the book, I actually want to take time to go to orphanages in Zimbabwe, meet the kids, meet the people who keep the place running. And I want to use whatever comes through with this book for that to make a difference. Now, I'm a big believer where you are born should not dictate your worth or your ability to have chances in life. And if I can do anything to kind of help, I'll try to do it, okay? I might not be Wonder Woman, I might not be able to change the world instantly with a book, but if I'm doing a little bit of something, it would really mean the world to me and I hope it would mean the world to everyone else. So if you have any heart and you want to support something like this, please feel free to grab a copy of the book, share with everyone. If you like the story, tell them about it, introduce it, please gift it for Valentine's or for Easter or Christmas or birthdays or anything because I kind of feel like this is the type of book where you can enjoy all year round for anything. Um, so that would be super special. And to follow the progress of what we're able to achieve, in Zimbabwe with the different orphanages. Um, I'm gonna to try to post all the content, everything I'm trying to do, uh, stories, posts on the Instagram of a girl and the fly. So click onto that, follow the page, get involved, click onto Amazon, get the book, tell me what you think of it, message down below um, if there's something that you think you'd be really interested in. And if you have read it, come back and message me. Tell me what you think of it. I would love to hear your thoughts on how you enjoyed the book. Um, did you like the characters? Did you like the way that it looked? The feel of it? The activities at the back? I, I would really, really love to know. Um, because if there's something that you did enjoy, then perhaps in the future, maybe not just now, um, I can consider doing maybe another one, which would be quite special and fun because I love being creative. So I do have a science side, but I do have a very big artistic side. So without further ado, please and please, Enjoy the book and thank you so much for your help and support Dreamer Project.